In the short term, I think there's more risk than reward. Markets overbought right now, so I would say cash right now is not a four-letter word in the immediate short run. But look, the Fed deserves an attaboy for boosting the market up 27-ish percent this year. But they're on the sidelines in 2020, right? So they're not going to hike. They're not going to cut as far as what they're saying right now goes. So the focus really shifts more towards the election, more towards earnings, more towards trade. But I mean, if you look at it right now, the market remains in a strong uptrend. You've got roughly 80% of the S&P 500 trading above the 200-day moving average, which is really bullish. So that uptrend's typically intact as long as we're at least at 50%, we're at 80 so right now, that means pullbacks remain viable. So we would expect another good year in 2020. Not quite as good as a 27% uh, that we've seen in 2019, but it should be another good year. All right, Mark, if cash is not a four-letter word, and I have some of it theoretically, and there is a hypothetical pullback, where exactly should I be buying those dips? And in what parts of the market, what goes on the shopping list? Yeah, so one of the items on our shopping list would be the healthcare sector. So heading into 2020, I think there's a lot of potential there. This is a sector that has been one of the worst performers all year long until Elizabeth Warren began slipping in the poll. So it was underperforming because of concerns about Medicare for all. As soon as she began slipping at the end of September, beginning of October, now it's been the best performing sector. So, you know, you've got a very, very strong positive uptrend. A few weeks ago, about 95% of the stocks traded above their 50-day moving average. So a lot of momentum. And in the past, next 12-month returns, when it crosses that threshold, are positive 17% versus positive 11% when you're not in that condition. And then you've just had three Obamacare tax increases that were repealed. So I think there's a lot of uh, a lot of tailwinds for the healthcare sector. Are there certain I mean first of all that move can we put up that chart once again? It's been crazy because it's been a catch up trade. Healthcare right. has been lagging for such a long time, but it's gone up like it's like it's almost like a 30 to 45 degree angle in just like the last yeah. 4 or 5 months. So given that move are there stocks or companies within healthcare that provide better opportunity than than others in your opinion? Yeah, so I'll give you one that's a catch-up trade to the catch-up trade, right? So Exact Sciences, EXAS. So this is a stock that, in our opinion, is completely, completely mispriced. Essentially, what you have right now is you've got the bear case scenario priced in. So what Exact Sciences does is they've got a less invasive, more patient-friendly way to detect colorectal cancer. And the issue with that disease is that your old school traditional testing methods, they're not fun. So what happens is it causes people to either put off or avoid testing. So the total addressable market is huge. This thing is now FDA approved for younger ages, which expands the market even further. And there's a lot of room for exact sciences to really penetrate this market. They've only got 5% of the market right now. And they've got, in our opinion, the best gotcha. testing method possible. Yeah,